from around the globe. It's the Q with digital coverage of Activio Data Driven 2020, brought to you by Activio. Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante for a little preview of Actifio Data Driven, and with me is Brian Reagan, who is a longtime Cube alum, good friend. Brian, awesome to see you. Thanks for coming on and help us set up Data Driven. Dave, it's always a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. So this is one of our favorite events of the the season, not only because it's historically been in Boston, uh, but it's a really good intimate event. A lot of customer content. Uh, unfortunately, this year, of course, everything has gone virtual, but um, you know, tell us about that. What do you guys got planned for Data Driven this year? Uh, well, again, um, we're, uh, we're delighted to be able to put the show on uh, in spite of all of the challenges of, uh, of travel and face-to-face. -face. Um, as uh, as you're, you know from years past, Data Driven has always been sort of by the customers, for the customers, um, very much a, you know, an event that is driven around understanding how customers are using data strategically, um, and how Actifio is helping them do that um, to, uh, to power their businesses. Um, this year is no different. Um, I think what we've done is we've taken the best of the physical uh, event, um, which is really facilitating fireside chats and panels of, uh, of you know, people using uh, our technology to, uh, to move the business forward with data, um, but also added a lot of things that frankly are, are impossible to do when you're constrained by a physical event, which is uh, be able to run uh, a series of you know, on-demand technical sessions. Um, our technical tracks are uh, you know, always um, standing room only. Um, so now we can offer more content, um, more discrete packaged content um, that can be consumed you know, the day of the event and on you know, for a year plus after the event. So, we're excited to really sort of mix the best of both worlds, virtual and the, the um, forms that have worked so well for us in, uh, in the physical events. Well, it's like I said, I mean, a lot of these events are you know, sort of vendor fests, but what you do with Data Driven is you bring in the customer's voice. So, and I remember last year on theCUBE, we had Holly St. Clair, who was with the state of Massachusetts. She was awesome. We had a guest from DraftKings which was really, really tremendous. Of course, you see what's happening with, with those guys now, just exploding. Exactly. Uh, we, but we also had a lot of fun. I mean, of course, Ash comes on and, and you know, all, all the Actifia folk, but we had Frank Jens yeah. on, uh, the yeah. first and only time we've ever had him on theCUBE. He's now retired from, from IDC, yeah. I guess semi-retired. Uh, we had Duplessis on, which was a lot of fun. So it's just a, yeah. it's just a good vibe. Yeah, yeah, we've um, we we made a conscious decision to your point not to avoid the traditional vendor fest um, and bludgeoning people with PowerPoint throughout the day, um, and really wanted to make it um, spin it around and and have the customers um, tell their stories in their own words um, and really talk about the the themes that are both common uh, in terms of challenges, um, ways that they've addressed those challenges, um, but also dig into the you know the the real um, implications of when they do solve these challenges. What are the um, unintended consequences? Um, you know, it's uh, it's sort of like the uh, in a, in a lot of ways. I think about the the journey the customers went through with VMware, and you know, with uh, the ability to spin up um, VMs effortlessly um, was a fantastic first step. And then all of a sudden, they realized they had all of these spun up VMs that were con <laughs> consuming resources that they didn't necessarily. Um, had thought about at the at the very beginning. I think that you know our customers as they progress through their journey with Actifio, um, once they realize the power of being able to access data and deliver data, no matter how big it is in any form factor in any cloud, um, there's incredible power there. But there also um, comes with that um, a real need to make sure that the governance and controls and management systems are in place. Um, to properly deliver that, particularly today when um, you know everything is distributed, everything is uh, you know um, essentially um, at arm's length. So that that's part of the the fun of these events is really being able to hear all of the ways these unique customers are um, adding value, delivering value, gaining value from uh, from the platform. Well, it's interesting you, you mentioned, you know, VMs. It was like life-changing when you first saw it, when you, when you saw your first VM get spun up and you're like, wow, this is unbelievable. And then it was so easy to spin up and then 
You just said <laughs> VM creep and copy creep. Right. And you're seeing some similar things now with, with cloud. I mean, an example is the, you know, the cloud data warehouses is so easy to spin those things up now. Right. You know, the CFOs are looking at the bill going, whoa, you know, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> Uh, you're going to see the same exactly. thing with, with with containers. As you begin to persist containers, yep. you're going to have this this the same problem. So you guys, you know, created the category. It's always a, a marketing executive's dream is to be able to create a category. You guys created the 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 copy data management category, and of course, have extended that. Uh, but that that was really good. I mean, it, it it was something that that you guys set forth, and then all the analysts picked up on it. People now use that as a, as a term, and and everybody it kind of resonates with everybody. Right, right. It uh, it, it was um, b bittersweet, um, but also very satisfying to start to see other vendors um, come out with their own copy data management offerings. And uh, and so yes, the validating that in fact this is a uh, a real problem in the enterprise it continues to be a real problem in the enterprise. And by using technologies that uh, Actifio really pioneered and and uh, patented quite a bit of of foundational technologies around. Um, we're able to help customers address those copy data challenges, those spiraling costs of, uh, of managing all of these duplicate, you know, physical instances of data. And to your point, um, you know, to some degree, uh, when you're on-prem in a data center and you've already bought your storage array, okay, I'm consuming 20% more of the array or 100% more of the array than I really need to be, but I've already paid for the array. Um, when it comes to cloud, those bills are adding up hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, um, and those are real costs. And so in many ways, cloud is actually um, highlighting the, the power um, and fr frankly, the problem of copy data um, far more um, you know, than, than the on-prem phenomenon ever did. Yeah, I was on the phone with a, a former CIO, uh, COO now of a, of a healthcare organization and he was saying to me, there's a, you know, there's the dark side of CapEx to OpEx, which is now that he's a COO, he's like really, really concerned about the income statement and the variability <laughs> of those costs. And so yeah. you know, to your point, I mean, it's a, it's a big issue. I mean, the convenience yeah. seems to be outweighing, you know, some of that concern, but nonetheless, it, it, a, a lack of predictability is a real concern there. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I think we, we see that, um, you know, you mentioned data lakes, um, and whether you call it a data lake or you just call it a massive data instance. Um, one of the speakers at Data Driven this year is uh, is a, a customer of our Century Data Systems down in uh, in Florida, and um, they have a 120 terabyte um, database that that actually they're using, and and this is a, an incredible story that we're excited to have them share with the world um, during Data Driven. Um, they're using it to help the federal government get better data faster on COVID treatments and the efficacy of those treatments. And so um, you the, to even consider being able to rapidly access and manage uh, 120 terabyte instance, uh, I mean, that's that, you know, it breaks the laws of physics, frankly. Um, but again, with copy data management, um, you know, we have the ability to help them um, really extend and, and uh, you know, really enhance their business and, and ultimately enhance um, the, the data flows that are hopefully going to accelerate the, the um, you know, access to a vaccine for the, you know, for us in, the, in North America and, and worldwide, quite frankly. That's awesome, that's awesome. Now let's talk a little bit more about uh, Data Driven, what we can expect. Yeah. Now, of course, the last couple of years, you've been the host of Data Driven. They pulled a Ricky Gervais on you, like at the Golden Globes. He's no longer <laughs> being invited to host, but uh, but I think probably for different reasons. But uh, what are some of the major right. themes that, that we can expect this year? Yeah, I, uh, we were disappointed that we couldn't get Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Um, so uh, I, I I think we decided that in a uh, in a virtual construct, the uh, the the host duties were pretty minimal. Um, uh, we're uh, so among the many things I talked about, Century Data Systems, and we have many customers who are going to be joining us and telling their stories. Um, and, and again, from you know, accelerating data, data analytics to accelerating DevOps initiatives to accelerating a move to the cloud, um, we're going to hear all of those different use cases um, uh, described. Um, one of the things uh, that is different this year, and, and we're really excited 
um, Gene Kim, um, sort of the the uh, you know author and noted DevOps guru, author of the Phoenix Project and the Unicorn Project, right. um, nice. is actually going to be he's going to be joining us. Um, we had previously intended to do um, a roadshow with Gene this year, and obviously those plans got changed a bit. So um, really, uh, really excited to have him join us. Um, talk about you know his his uh, point of view around DevOps. Um, certainly, it's a, a hugely important use case for us, uh, really important for many of our customers. Um, and actually, registrants uh, between now and the event, which is September 15th and 16th, um, will get an e-copy, uh, an e-book copy of his Unicorn Project book. So um, we're eager to have people uh, register. And uh, and if they haven't already um, read, uh, read him, then I think they're going to be really pleasantly surprised to see how accessible his materials are, um, and yet how meaningful and how powerful they can be in terms of um, articulating the journeys that many of these businesses are going through. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm, I'm stoked. I have not read that material, but I've heard a lot about it. And when I signed up, I was I saw that. I said, great, I'm going to get the, the free book. So uh, I'm yep. going to check that out. It's obviously a very, very hot topic. Well, Brian, Absolutely. I really, really appreciate you you coming on and uh, and and setting up uh, the the event. What, what are the details? So where do I go to sign up? When is the event? Uh, what's the format? Give us the, the lowdown. Uh, it is September 15th and 16th. Uh, Actifio.com will guide you through the registration process. Um, you'll be able to curate the event uh, based on the content that you're eager to, uh, to participate in. Um, and, uh, and again, um, not only on the 15th and 16th, but then um, into the future, you'll be able to go back and, uh, and re-access or access content that you didn't have the time to do um, during the event window. So um, we're really excited to be able to offer that um, as, uh, as an important part of the, uh, of the event. Fantastic, and of course the Cube will be there doing the, it's normal wall-to-wall -wall coverage, of course this time virtual, and you'll see us on social media with all the clips and all the, the work on uh, SiliconANGLE. So Brian, great, great to see you, and uh, we will see you online in September. Thanks, Dave. All right, and thank you. Go to actifio.com, sign up, register for Data Driven. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE. We'll see you next time.